Welcome back to the Charcoal Podcast. I'm Cole Lars, joined by Charlie Preen, and uh, it's episode 21. Let's get right into it. We're going to do all the bowl games. There's 39 of them, by the way. Um, we're going to see what we want to do with them, and yeah, just kind of go by ear and see what happens. So what's going to happen is we're, we're going to pick, we're basically going to go through the game, pick it, and head on. We don't really, unless it's like a big game other than the two uh, national championship games, we're not going to really talk about the games at all. All right, so first we have Buffalo, who's favored by six and a half, or Charlotte. I'm taking Buffalo in this one. Good. I think Buffalo. they're good. Next one we have Utah State versus Kentucky State. Ooh, I don't know. I think Utah State. Utah State is favored by seven. I think Utah State's in my pick there. I have to go with Utah State as well. Yep. Uh, Central Michigan versus San Diego State University. San Diego State is favored by three and a half. I want to take Central Michigan on that one. All right, next one we have Liberty versus Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern is favored by five. Really? Uh, I'll take Georgia Southern on this one. Uh, SMU versus Florida Atlantic. SMU is favored by three. I'll take SMU by a long shot. Yeah. All right, now we have FIU. Versus Arkansas State. Arkansas State is favored by two and a half. I want Arkansas State in that one. I just do as well. Now we have number 19, Boise State versus Washington. Washington is favored by three and a half. Uh, I'll take Boise State in this one. Okay, number 21, Appalachian State. Favored by 16 and a half against UAB. I want Appalachian State. As do I. By a good one. UCF favored by 17 and a half versus Marshall. UCF. Hawaii versus BYU. BYU favored by two. BYU on that one. All right. Louisiana Tech versus Miami. Miami favored by six. I'll take uh, Miami on this one. It's hard to hard to predict these games because yeah. you really don't know much about them, and and Vegas really doesn't know much about them either, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. We have. Pitt, who is favored by 11 against Eastern Michigan. Ooh, I'll take Pitt on this one. Okay. UNC favored by 4.5 against Temple. I'll take UNC on that one. Michigan State favored by 4.5 against Wake Forest. Ooh, I'll, I'll take Michigan State on that one, but not by much. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, number 25, Oklahoma State. By the way, these rankings are kind of a little bit off because yeah. I don't think the app updated. So, Oklahoma State versus Texas A&M. Texas A&M favored by seven. I want Oklahoma State in that one. All right, next page. We have number 22, USC versus number 16, Iowa. Iowa's favored by two. Ooh, I'll take Iowa in this one. All right, we have... Air Force favored by three against Washington State. I want Washington State. Notre Dame favored by three and a half against Iowa State. Notre Dame. I think it'll be by more than that, but. Yep. Uh, Memphis going up against, uh, these are what the rankings said, number 17 Memphis against number 10 Penn State. Penn State favored by just less than a touchdown. I want Penn State. All right, now we go into one of the final four matches we have number four Oklahoma going up against number one LSU LSU is favored by 14 I think the spread will be a little bit more than that uh, by the time game game comes up it'll probably end up being 17 uh, but I think the LSU takes the game by quite a bit if not more I don't see Oklahoma even have a chance the defense cannot compete with the offense yeah that, LSU. that LSU just overall they're just that good um, they're really good Joe Burrow obviously wins the Heisman by a long slide or a landslide. Yeah. We're going to talk about that later. But, yeah, I think that's how that one's going to go. Uh, now we have number three, Clemson, against number two, Ohio State. Clemson's favored by two. This is a toss-up. Vegas opened against uh, with Clemson, and uh, I think they stayed Clemson all the way through. Very Flip a coin. <laughs> it's tails this time. Okay, I've got Ohio State. I'm going to take Clemson on this one. I think that it's going to be a really, really great game. It's going to be a fun yeah, one to watch. This is going to be a good one to watch. Now we have Western Kentucky versus Western Michigan. Western Kentucky is favored by three. I want Western Michigan. There's a lot of Michigan teams. 
Yeah. Now we have Mississippi State going up against Louisville. Mississippi State's favored by four. Mississippi State on that one. We have Cal versus Illinois. Cal is favored by seven. I want Illinois. Now we have what this says, number nine, Florida, favored by 14 and a half versus Virginia. Ooh, I'll take Florida on this one. And we have Virginia Tech favored by two and a half against Kentucky. Ooh, that's going to be a good game, but Virginia Tech's going to win that. Florida State versus Arizona State. Arizona State's favored by four and a half. I'll take Arizona State on that one. I just don't think that Florida State can compete with them. We have Navy, which was number 24, uh, favored by two and a half against K-State. Ooh, I'll take Navy on that one. We have Georgia State going up against Wyoming. Wyoming is favored by seven. I'll take Wyoming on that one. Now we have Utah going up against Texas. Utah is favored by seven. I think Utah really takes that game after what happened to them in the previous weeks. Now we have what used to be number 14, Michigan, versus number 12, Alabama. Alabama is favored. Sorry That's going to be loud. That's going to be um, three more minutes, and it's going to happen again. Too. Yeah. Uh, Michigan versus Alabama. Alabama is favored by seven. Um, I think I take Alabama on this one. Okay. We have 18, Minnesota versus number 11, Auburn. Auburn is favored by a seven and a half. I think uh, Minnesota rows the boat and takes this one. We have Oregon versus Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin is favored by two and a half. I think Wisconsin, uh, hopefully they can get a good win here and <laughs> Hopefully set a good tempo for next season. They're going to yep. be decent next season. Yep. We have number five, what used to be number five, Georgia, against number nine, Baylor. Uh, Georgia's favored by seven. I'll take Georgia on this one. We have Boston College going up against number 20, Cincinnati. Cincinnati's favored by seven. I want Cincy on this one. All right. Last four. We have Indiana versus Tennessee. Tennessee's favored by one and a half. Ooh, it's going to be a really good game, but I think Indiana takes it. Here we have Ohio, favored by seven and a half versus Nevada. Ooh, I don't know. I don't really I haven't heard about any of these teams. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Ohio, personally. Yeah, I'm going to go with Vegas, too. And we go uh, Southern Miss versus Tulane. Tulane's favored by seven. I want Tulane for sure. And last one, Louisiana Lafayette versus Miami, Ohio. Louisiana Lafayette's favored by 14. Yeah, I'll take them. All right, well, let's head into the next little segment here. The bell's going to ring again shortly anyways. Okay, so uh, I think first we should talk about the Heisman. Heisman, yeah. Pretty much a landslide, like you said. Pretty much unanimous, too, throughout. I think uh, it's hard to say that Joe Burrow wouldn't, shouldn't have won it because he had just been crazy throughout the year. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, that's one of the things that really struck me is how big he won, but how much he deserved to win that big. Uh, just the stuff he's done with his team, uh, Coach O over there really doing good. Their entire coaching staff really doing good. Um, yeah, I think he really deserved the Heisman in that situation. Um, he played amazing, and that's all I can really say. Um, college football playoffs, who wins it? Well, we're we're kinda decided, through, we said LSU beats Oklahoma, and then we were um, – I had Ohio State, he had Clemson. I really think that Clemson's going to show the, the whole country something this weekend. So we, yeah. it will be cool. Wait, is it no next weekend? I think it's next weekend, yes, I believe. So, yeah. Let's head on to a little bit of high school basketball here. The boys and the girls both dropped their game well, this uh, Tuesday, I believe. Yes, it was Tuesday. And both teams are 1-1 one one now. Girls lost to a very solid team in West Central, and the boys could have didn't play their best game. No. I mean, really not their best game, but I think we can rebound from that and – the girls really uh, was in an interesting game. Sorry about that. Anyways, that's gonna be done for that for a little while. But I think we should uh, we should note that the I I seen something on the girls game that was just a little bit odd to me. As really, no one wanted to shoot the ball. No one wanted to shoot it. It was really odd. Yeah. Yep. That was. One of the big things I noticed, too, is they'd get the ball, it'd be wide open, but you didn't want to shoot it. I think they're just afraid to miss. you got to shoot the ball to, yeah. to win the game. Yeah, I, I think they're just – a lot of it, they're just afraid to miss. And that just kind of comes and goes, I guess. But um, the girls, their next game, they're one-on-one one right now 
in the mid cold pool. They were technically sixth. I don't think they'll be there anymore. But their next game is against Korska Stigny, the Par- Parkston Classic. Um, that is at 7.30 Monday, December 30th. Uh, the next boys game, we can talk about the boys game a little bit. Um, yeah, from my point of view and a lot of the coaches' insight, it was just not good. Yeah, didn't um, kind of follow what we were supposed to do as a, a team. And yeah. Certainly not what we wanted to show for. Yeah, especially coming off that really good game in Gregory and then four days later go to West Central and lose by 32. So, yeah. But as an entire MVP basketball program, boys and girls, we went 0-6 that day, and we calculated out we lost by 170 combined points. So, yeah, not our greatest showing there. West Central is good. Yep. And that's all we really have to say about that one. So, um, The next game for the boys is tomorrow at Freeman, and then they also play Monday the 30th in the Parkston Classic against Dakota Valley. So, It's going to be very in- interesting to see how we do in both the boys and the girls. Um, yeah, so what else we got on tap for today? Um, and NFL playoff picture. Very Ooh. interesting right now. The it Vikings, is. Vikings yeah. are the sixth in the north. They basically have to win out. Uh, to, they have a chance to win the division still. Very odd. They could lose their next two games and have the Rams lose once and they're in. The Vikings could win one more and they're automatically in. Mm-hmm. So pretty much everything else is set in stone for the playoffs in the NFC. The Vikings and the Rams are fighting for that six. Uh, AFC-wise, very interesting still. Um I don't know. I mean, Ravens pretty much gonna go right through there. I don't think that the Patriots can stop them anymore. I think the Ravens are gonna walk right. I think through the there. Patriots are have really fallen off this season. That's really hard to say, but I saw a stat for the first time since 2006. Tom Brady's not in the Pro Bowl. Yeah, that's but very impressive. Also, the Baltimore Ravens 12 Pro Bowl selections over their entire team. That is insane. I'm not sure how many the Vikings have. Um, I think they have three: Harrison Smith, uh, Daniel Hunter. And Dalvin Cook. Yeah. And a little note on Dalvin Cook. He is not expected to play Monday against the Packers um, in U.S. Bank Stadium. I will be at that one. Nice. So that will be a good game to go to. Um, <laughs> Buttons in the back say he's going to the Bears. All right. Well, Where do they play? Well, I'm going to the Vikings or Spurs. That's in, that's oh. in Minneapolis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. Anything else we need to um, talk about? MVP race, that really isn't even a race anymore. It's Lamar Jackson. He's solidifying this so. every single week, and it's very impressive the numbers he's putting up. 220 yards and five touchdowns, four touchdowns? Yes, five and he touchdowns. also did recently break Michael Vick's rushing record as a quarterback. Yeah. So I think that about wraps it up, I want to say. Yeah. Um, with these picks... We just kind of picked them now. Uh, it's kind of hectic around here, by the way. Uh, semester tests are this week. That's why we don't have any of the um, teachers' picks because they're all busy doing stuff. Um, we'll try to get those in. Um, we we'll won't have the final. We will not have a podcast next week. Episode 22 will be after the first of the year, I believe, once we're back in school. Yep, something around there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, from Cole and Charlie here in the podcast room, which I don't know if you guys know this, but there is an entire room in this school dedicated just for podcasts and filming stuff, which is really nice. And Buttons is behind the camera and is going to shut the camera off here when we end up wrapping this thing up. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. So uh, from Cole and Charlie, Merry Christmas, travel safe. Uh, I hope you have a very good rest of your year, I should say. Um, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you, whatever you do. Um, um, yeah, I think that's all I've got uh, from Cole and Charlie. Here's episode 21. They're gone.